on today's churchtechcast.com screencast show using the matrox triple head to go Hi, and welcome again to the ChurchTechCast.com screencast show. This is the show where every week I help you with the software that we use in the church. My name is Paul Allen Clifford. So this is one of the features that churches love about ProPresenter. It's the ability to create a triple wide background or use three screens with a piece of hardware called the Matrox Triple Head to Go. So I thought that we would talk about um, just the advantages of using it and also talk about uh, the configuration in ProPresenter once you've got it working on your computer. So the first advantage of using this is it can be a triple wide screen. There's also a dual head to go that works just as well that's a double wide screen and that can be pretty cool. But that's not the only thing that you can do with it. Because you have some ability to tweak what goes here, what goes there, etc., you can also make two discrete screens which maybe both have lyrics on them but have different backgrounds. So let's talk about that by heading over to my computer and ProPresenter 6 and taking a look. If you're contemplating using a Matrox triple head to go, or the dual head to go, just two or three, doesn't matter, what you need to understand is what it does and what advantages that's going to give you. So here we are on Amazon site, and I'm going to include a short link to this very page. Um, there are a few different models, but basically the connectivity is what matters, so make sure you pay attention to that. If you need DVI, get the one that's DVI. If you need um, HDMI, you can change from DVI to HDMI pretty easily, 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 easily. Make sure that you get the one that has VGA, although in 2016, which is when I'm recording this, I'd be a little hard-pressed to recommend that for a new install unless you had no other options just because looking into the future I don't anticipate the VGA is going to be around for a huge amount of time. So anyway those are basically the differences between the monitors of the dual head to go and the triple head to go. This is basically what it looks like. You uh, send the video from your computer into here and then it splits it out to these three outputs here. Now, um, they in, imagine that what basically this box is doing is it's presenting to the video card a triple wide screen. So this is you no know, uh, 1920 by 1080, 1920 by 1080, 1920 by 1080. So the 1080 high stays the same, and then the 1920 just is multiplied by 3, so that it can go across the 3. So, once you have one of these, normally what you would see on your um, computer is going to be this, where you have a stage display, you have your control screen. Notice the control screen has this little bar right up here, which I could move to other ones, but in this case, I'm just going to leave it as it is because that's where I like it. And the main output. So this is in the system. There's also one in ProPresenter. And we can head over and take a look at that by heading over to ProPresenter and going to Preferences and got a lot of things going. I hope it doesn't cause a problem here. Going to Display and you'll see that we have analogous boxes where 
I have this set up so the stage display is on my left, the control screen is in the center, and the output is on the right. So those are those three. That's the way it normally is. Uh, you might have two if you don't have a USB adapter or a second uh, video card output for the stage display, in which case you'd have SD on the same thing as your control screen, and then you would have output. So that's what you would normally see. But let's, let's just pretend that I've got a triple head to go in this system. I don't, but we can kind of pretend a little bit by going over here to modules and going to multi-screen, and we can click demo modules. Now, I'm not actually using this in any real sense. I'm just showing you what it can do. So the multi-screen module is the one that we're going to want to look at. And you'll notice we've got some more tabs up here, which uh, this would just put this, um, excuse me, this would put a watermark on all those normally. So that's not something that you would want to do during church necessarily. You would want to buy it. But Let's head over here to the multi-screen module, and you'll see that we have three different outputs here. Now, with these, I have various settings that I can create, and I can create a new one uh, every time, and I can call this, let's see, let's call this um, Worship. Oops. Let's call that Worship. And I could call this one message, and I could call this special music if I wanted to. And that's going to be helpful later on. So as we select this, you'll see that I've already done a, a few interesting things. But let's just start here on the special music thing. Let's say for special music that I wanted to put a prop on only one screen. In this case, I put the check mark on screen number two, so the screen in the middle. Whether these are three screens separated like this here, or they're, or it's one long wide screen, doesn't matter all that much. Just keep that in mind that that's what you're doing here. So. By checking this, I'm saying I do want a prop on screen number two, but I don't want slides there. I want the slides on one and three, but not two. Now I can use different templates for each of these. So let's see here. Let's go with one that seems pretty obvious. And... Let's see. So I could potentially use a different template on each screen. And a template could include a background image as well as the formatting for the text, as these three do. Now um, I have the option of including the title, if I wanted to, or uh, the video and image, that layer. Now the live video layer, let's say I wanted to put live video in the center. I could do that. Uh, for some reason this isn't necessarily showing up, but um, maybe that's because I'm covering it up with a template that has something. Oh well, it doesn't matter. Um, so I can add things and have them show up on one place or the other. Now, one thing that you'll notice here is these are all checkboxes, so I could put it on one, two, or all three, but the DVD only shows up on one, and that's because of our friends in the mu movie industry. They only want video playing so many places, so that's why they've done it that way. So I could put it on one, two, or three, but not one and two, two and three, one and three, I can't do any of that. This is a radio button. I have one choice. So that's the um, first one. 
Let's make that a triple screen. Okay, there we go. That's better. So that's why that wasn't working. I didn't have the layout set up correctly. I had it uh, disabled. So you'll notice over here, by the way, when I do that, it shows the three watermarks and gives me a wider view. This is going to be less useful um, as a preview, but it it's better than nothing if you don't have uh, the outputs split to local monitors and you're in a different room or something like that. So that's what I would do there. Now I have this layout and you'll notice that the special music has three different templates but the worship does not. And you'll also notice that the video and image is on all three including the title in the special music but only on one and two in worship and then uh, message it's pretty plain let's just leave it like that where we have the default template whatever that is the slides and the video image background kind of layer those for the message so the message is pretty boring worship is different special music is all kinds of crazy and I could add more and more if I wanted to. Now to access those during church, something that's really great with ProPresenter 6, uh, they might have had this in ProPresenter 5, I can't remember, but in ProPresenter 6 something that's really great is I can right click here and I can add a queue and I can add a multi-screen settings queue. So Let's say I get to this particular slide, and this is special music, so I trigger the special music slide. Let's say that I'm going down here, and I'm on uh, this right here, and instead of special music, this right here, I can again add a cue, and this is a multi-screen cue. This is the message. So you see how it works that I don't even have to think about it once I have this all set up. Now, I can change that at any time by going into the settings. Um, I believe that's in view. Yes, yeah, so multi-screen is that it? No. Stage, no. Uh, Multi-screen commands under action. So, I can go in there, I can either click on these things or I can use the uh, keyboard shortcuts here. Uh, text on left screen is control 1, text on center screen control 2, text on right screen control 3, and I can uh, enable those and disable them as I would want to. Going back, yep, so these are toggles, so it's either one or the other. Tile background, background on left screen, background on center screen, background on right screen, I have all those. This is uh, alt or option command. I believe that's a the tilde key. I believe that's right, yeah. And then one, two, or three. And then props on left screen, center screen, or right screen. I can do that again with the control Alt or Option, depending on what you call it, one, two, or three. So I really have a lot of flexibility with this multi-screen module and the Matrox Triple Head to Go um, hardware, and it's something that not every church would use. But let's talk about some alternative uses for it. Now, most churches are going to think, well, I I'm going to have three screens up at the front of the building and that's gonna show that but 
those three screens don't all have to be there. You could potentially have different things going to each of those screens and have those screens in different locations. So you could potentially have those screens, one in the uh, sanctuary, one for your live stream, and one for your um, televisions in the lobby, vestibule, whatever you call it, in your denomination area. So if that's the case, then it starts to make a lot more sense to have different templates for different screens. So maybe the center screen, that works uh, perfectly for the sanctuary, but the one that's in the lobby vestibule area, or as my wife's aunt calls it, vegetable uh, area, uh, that one you really need the text to be in a totally different place. So a different template makes a lot more sense in that situation. So I hope that now it's starting to make sense to you. This is a way that you can have the same content formatted different ways for three different audiences. And that's a kind of inexpensive way to do that. You know, when we look back here at the triple head to go, this is on Amazon. Uh, $300, that's less than the price of a decent computer. And it gives you more power and you don't have to recruit another volunteer to do it. You don't have to buy the master slave module for ProPresenter. You can just send one screen to one location, one to another, and one to a third. Sometimes they're the same, sometimes they're different, and it would just work perfectly in those situations, uh, assuming that your computer could handle it. Well, I hope that helped you. I hope that now you know the advantages of using a Matrox triple head to go and some of the cool things that you can uh, do with it. When you're done watching this video, if you're not there already, head over to trinitydigitalmedia.com, sign up for my newsletter, leave a comment under the video, subscribe to the podcast, etc. These are all great things that you can do over on my site, and I'd love for you to join me as we all go out and change eternity. Until next time, this is Paul Allen Clifford with trinitydigitalmedia.com.